A water crisis has hit both Tswane and Ikuruleni in recent days after the failure of the Malpatan booster station. In Tswane, it's alleged that the city has run out of water tankers. And then in some areas, shops are sold out of bottled water. And in Ikuruleni, Itzakane residents are lining up to fill their buckets at the fire station. Reporter Ngobile Madlala is out tracking the developments around this particular story and joins us now uh, for the latest here. Ngobile, uh, thank you very much for your time this morning. I'm sure you've been engaging various stakeholders throughout the morning and it's truly a frustrating time not only do residents have to deal with power cuts now they're dealing with water cuts Well, that's right, Rafiwa. It's been quite a difficult time for a lot of residents, especially here in Swane, because they've had to wait, even though that at some point we saw that there were some of, of the works that were done in the transformers, and we saw that the power was back on, and we were told that the water was coming back. Then it failed again, and they had to wait much longer. So from my understanding, Roth, it's been over six days of some of the residents not having water, especially where we are, which they use um, the reservoir that is in Karina Street. We understand that's the name of the reservoir. Now, those are some of the reservoirs that we identified as well in Tuane as one of the struggling ones. But we do know from an update from Tuane that 90% of the areas are now getting some water. In fact, funny enough, as we were arriving here, I our guest already had also received her water. So I'm going to bring her in because it's been quite a difficult time for you and your family. Tell us a bit about how has it been like for the last five days? Well, we lost water on Saturday night, so we thought it was fine. There was a burst pipe that we were told about on the street up the road, and we thought, well, that's great. Everyone's uh, looking after it. It's being fixed. And um, then the water just didn't come back. And on Monday we were told there's something else going on. Then we got the news about Ikuruleni, and it's just been very, very difficult. We've had to run around buying water. All the shops ran out of water. So it was a frustration of having to go further and further away from home just to buy these five-litre bottles. And the feedback that we were getting was not specific. Everything was, it's going to be a few days, a couple of days, or maybe it'll be tomorrow. A lot was told on Wednesday, then it was going to be on Thursday. And then you get the news reports and the media statements saying it's on while we're sitting without water. So it's been very, very frustrating. I mean, if you, if you tell me, I think what I'm understanding from your statements is that the communication was not uh, clear. So will you tell us a bit about that? What would you have hoped the municipality had done in terms of communications? I think it would be nicer if they made it a lot more public. I've been getting through WhatsApp groups, but getting some kind of public information, getting something from that side, it would have been nicer, getting more specific details, more specific dates, that would have been fantastic. All right. And now let's understand something. I mean, a lot of um, a lot of people have been frustrated with this and, of course, getting um, some bottled water. Would you tell us a bit about that? I mean, that must have been quite an expense for you. Yes, it was very expensive. I think we bought um, about 50 of the five litre ones and then a whole lot of the others. And everybody else was rushing to do the same. Uh, we've got people who do have boreholes here. That, for me, was a bit of a strange one where the municipality didn't dispense tanks. They actually asked the people with boreholes to please help the citizens because they didn't have tankers. So that was an, a strange one. We couldn't go and fill anything up, so you had to buy new ones. And as you go out from the centre, the shops were running out, so you just had to go further and further to buy water. And, of course, the prices were going up because it was a, an opportunity. And, of course, now you've got some water. It must be a relief for you. It's been wonderful. To be able to shower this morning was fantastic. It's the most exciting part of the year so far. All right. Let's hope that stays the same. All right, so Shalene, thank you very much for speaking to us. But, well, Rafia, you can hear there. She's saying to us it's been quite a difficult time and, of course, having to spend so much money on that water to ensure that the household is still running, the simplicity of the um, things like showering, things like... Um, Using just sanitation as well is very important, and of course that was difficult for some of the residents here, but quite a relief as they get their water back.